but finding the right as rec uh, can we start that one again Hello, I'm Michael Sherlock, CEO of two companies. Shock Your Potential is a global leadership and training sales organization. No, that's not, I didn't do that at all. Let me start that over. <laughs> I'm reading my own stuff and I wrote it wrong. And say it. Oh, man, no, I, I don't know what I'm training sales, whatever I said. Anyway, forget that, Edward. All right, here we go. Hello, I am Michael Sherlock, CEO of two companies. Shock Your Potential is a global leadership and sales training development organization. I don't like that. What am I doing? Uh, uh, sales. Global leadership and sales organization. Why am I doing that wrong? Why is that? Hold on. Sorry, Edward. We're going to go take three here. Sales training company. Oh, company and organization. That's where we're going. Company. That's why it's not flowing. All right, take three. Here we go. Hello, I am Michael Sherlock, CEO of two companies. Shock Your Potential is a global leadership and sales training company, and Kukwa Biz is a global staffing agency, matching talented professionals in Kenya with small businesses around the world. <laughs> So that tells me that regardless of getting the certification or not, I'm going to, I, I'm like, well, sorry, let's, let's, let me go back on that one, Edward. Hold on another sip of tea. <laughs> Here we go. So we'll have to edit out all my tea drinking. It's been a long day of talking. Okay, here we go. Tip number seven and take more steps. Sorry for all the editing. But finding the right as rec, uh, can we start that one again? So I've worked with an excellent, excellent, uh, blah, blah, blah. can we do that again? Sorry about all these breaks, I'm trying to breathe in between. Here we go. Tip number six, don't detail out everything. <laughs> bullet print, bullet, blah, 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 blah. let's try this again. I'm gonna just go into the intro again. Tip number six, don't detail out everything. So what I'm going to try and ask you to do is find your current strengths, experiences, training that are a good match for those things that are coming through on that, on that, um, on the job description. Let me take that one over there, Edward, and I'm going to take a little sip of my tea. One more tea. One more sip of tea. All right, here we go. What is in there? Mm, I have a fuzzy. Let me uh, go through that last one. I'm gonna start with them. Um, think what's important. Uh, well, both these qu questions, unfortunately, can, might even help you not only, well, wait, can I back that up? Can you edit this part? Uh, let's start with both those questions before submitting your resume so that you don't disqualify yourself for using information that wouldn't be normal. I guess that's okay to say, wouldn't be normal. Um, let me do that last line. So just make sure that you find out about whether it's a different country, a different company, a different culture, that you're researching what you know they typically use and the norm for the format of their resumes. You don't wanna take yourself out of consideration without even knowing what you need to do to make sure to adapt to that. I don't think I like that. I'll try that last line. So my last line on that is before you submit a resume to a certain company, a different country, a different culture, make sure that you've taken time to research the norm for resume format in those areas. That way you make sure that you are on the same footing as every other candidate they are considering. I like that better. Here we go. How about this one? Generated more than 10 million in sales annual, annually. 
um, let me back this up. And again, like I have a hair in my mouth. Okay, let me start over. Here we go. Tip number seven. Here we go. We're doing that again. And we're going to have a drink of water. But it allows people to see things much more easily. So I was thinking, geez, Louise, I'm just, first part's fine. Hold on. Oh, almost stepped on the cat. Oops, I'm sorry, Penelope. Sorry, Edward. You're going to be with me here for a second. My voice keeps breaking up on me, although it's much better than it was. I'm having hot tamales. <coughs> These can be really tough. Okay. So I think the first part was fine. I'm going to start into this one already, halfway into tip number eight. So thank you so much for joining us again today. I am looking forward to seeing you guys all again next week. And as always, if you like what you're hearing here, hit the subscribe button, hit that little like button leave a comment. We get back on all of them. And as always, we are here to help you shock your potential.